This here was noise pollution. So what they did, all the people, old folks, they picked them in prison. And they bought their houses out for $18,000, $20,000, $20,000. So when they got to where they moved to, you know, all the other cities, they, they gave it for they, you know, from being poor people to be able to pay for the houses. It was just a scam, you know. This is Kinlock, Missouri, a town betrayed by the government. A town that's become a dumping ground full of abandoned cars and derelict homes. But it wasn't always like this. It was founded in 1890 as one of the oldest African-American communities in Missouri. It was home to Barrett Brooks, a football player, Maxine Waters, an American congresswoman, and Huey, a famous rapper who was shot and killed not far from this town. The town flourished until the 1980s when the U.S. government decided to buy up the entire town as part of a noise abatement program for the St. Louis airport. The government also demolished most of the town of Bridgeton, Missouri. Some parts redeveloped into warehouses, others the runway, and many parts still remain unused today. My team and I drove into town, not knowing what to expect. Holy, just abandoned roads. Alright, we're gonna have to go off road. That's what we gotta do here. The warehouse in the background is the only new development that's happened since the 1980s. So today we're in the town of Kinlock, Missouri. And it's hard to see with the sun glare here, but there's just rows and rows and rows of abandoned buildings. The streets are almost undrivable. I had to off-road right there to get down here, actually. All these streets by the airport are just completely trashed. Let's take a look around. It's a bit hard to see. Uh, but yeah, these are all just kind of kind of empty buildings, to be honest. But there's quite a bit of them. According to local news, an evil corporation is responsible for most of the dumping in town. Only recently had they cracked down on the dumping. Oh, here's a better angle. Yep, there's quite a few buildings here. They're actually starting to build a lot of warehouses out here now, all around this town. For some reason, they're, they're not tearing down the buildings, but just all the empty land around. Maybe it's uh, too much of a biohazard, too much work to tear these down. You, see, you think those are fake? No, nah, they were probably real at one point. I don't know if they work, though. I don't think they work. Yeah. Oh yeah. But yeah, we got more streets down here. It's crazy. So much garbage here. It's really sad. But yeah, you can see there's just garbage everywhere. It's, it's crazy. It's a true dumping ground here. It only keeps going. This is just the first kind of sight here. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at all this garbage. Look at this. Looks like these were former apartments, maybe even a school. It's hard to tell. That's a school. Oh, yep. There's a school right here. We should try to explain that. Sure. Look at, really? look at all the buildings in the background. It's like The Walking Dead. Oh, there's a car behind us with no plate. Mm. That sketch. Yeah. You already got your gun? Yeah. So yeah, these are more of the apartments. Um, so the roads are blocked off, but you can just drive around. Oh yeah, that's 
Mm. Rolls his window down, we could ask him some questions. Oh, we got mud. This truck is supposedly security to keep people from illegally dumping in the town of Kinlock. Right, it probably only cares if we're inside the building. Yeah. So right here is the fire department, actually. So they have a working fire department. Alright, I think let's go down this road. There's a couple. Yeah, I was thinking about that. This was the most intact part of town. As we keep going, it gets worse. The dream. We passed the last business, an auto shop of some sort, maybe for parting out cars. Probably back it up some place, so. Alright, we're going down here. So there was two active businesses. The fire station, which is not really a business, and then this that one car spot. This guy is parting out cars, it looks like. Trash here is so much though, still. The city's not doing much about it. I mean, there isn't really much of a city here. Dump truck. Oh, there's an abandoned truck out there. Maybe we'll go back. This church is abandoned. Wow. Does not look like a church to me. Here we go, check out the debris in these streets. Get a couple more residents here. Holy Look at that. Just completely blocked off with garbage cans. Bet you there's some abandoned houses down there, but someone lives Look down there. Look at that abandoned house. Whoa. Oh my god, that looks crazy. It's just ruins. Look at all the mattresses. Oh yeah, I wanted to film. There used to be a sign here that said no dumping. And everybody just put their No way. In. That's... There it is. We came across two longtime residents who were cleaning up the town. One of them was too sad to be interviewed about how bad his town had gotten. The other was happy to share his story. Uh, that was like, I was born in 54, so I've been here like 70 years. Uh, May 23rd would be 70, 70 years. Is this your business here? <laughs> no, this is a, a family. Uh, we kind of clean up for the airport, come in, you know, pull all this stuff out of here. They're going to clean it. That's the house they bought. It won't be any more kennel up. There's going to be nothing left. Well, except for, uh, I'm so college down there, you know. Suburban Heights, they'll still be there. Firehouse will be here, but uh, nothing else will be gone. They're going to buy up everything. So what, when did, um, when did they... They started in, in 80. Six. But Ladue used to be like Kenlock. It was all black and we can do now. So they're going to do Kenlock the same way. It's sad, you know, so I block people trying to hang on to it and putting up little businesses. It got to me years ago to buy some property and sit on it because it's going to be gold, man. I mean, that was back in the 60s when he told me, and I was wondering, how you know this? But now look at it, you know, people come up here and buying it up. We can't buy up anything because, you know, they don't want us to own. Do you think there's do you think there's any reason besides like the the airport um, that they wanted to buy all these homes up? Well, like I said, it, it's for the property, you know. They want to get the property, they want to get the fuel out of the way. So they had to use that noise pollution that the uh, jets flew down so close, breaking windows with the shadow, with the the noise pollution, you know, sound barrier. It broke that up, so and now people just sort of move out. There's, there's only about 30 or 40 houses here. Said the apartment buildings. How many were there here? Oh, the population, I'll say it was like no more than like 8,000. Uh, a lot of uh, farm land, you know, people had livestock here. Own stores. 
but you don't find nothing anymore. You know, mom and pop store, they grew their own vegetables and peanuts and stuff, and they sold that here in Kellogg. Uh, it, it's sad that they're they're doing this. You know, it, 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 it just hurts. You know, I come over here and I, people start to dump it. I just take my phone and just take pictures of them. But uh, I don't get too close because I don't want to get shot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it, it hurts, man. It goes back, you know, comfortable. I really miss the burning school right there. That's the oldest school inside the city. It's over 20 years old. Wow. But um, it's a lot of history there, man. You know, you, mm -hmm. It's sad, but you know, it is what it is. Hopefully, I can preserve it somewhat. With well, the video. Oh, we're going to do this to buy a piece of property here and there and sit on it and then uh, see what happens. Yeah. And uh, what, what's your name? Gregory Wilson. Gregory Wilson. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. The street was so cluttered that we couldn't even drive down here. Car. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's... Hey, look at that thing. Blue? What? It's like a hot Whoa. rod. Dude, <laughs> someone needs to restore this thing. Why is it here? We need to take that. Look at that. <laughs> it's purple. Wow. There's one over there, too. That's beautiful. Oh, that one's nice, too. The fins on that. I bet you there's more down there. I think there is actually. Uh, maybe. <laughs> well, there's a lot of all sorts of people dumping the trash. It's not like we're gonna set up trail, camp. set up trail camps to stop people from dumping here. Yeah. Make a big billboard with their license plate. <laughs> Dude, there's there's probably hundreds of people that dump here monthly. There actually is another car down there. Wow. I don't know why someone has come and scrapped these cars yet, to be honest. That's what I would be doing. This truck, oh my gosh. That's like a newer one. That's crazy. Oh, somebody stripped the hell out of this thing. Ram 1500. Probably stolen. You can hear the, you can hear the airplanes, that's just... That's how close we are to the airport. You can hear water actually, the sewage system. Still kind of going. What is that? It's a trailer back there. To rust it like that. You can do a little. We're all children at heart. <laughs> what is that trick when I go like this? It doesn't move though. <laughs> Here you go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there is ha a house. Dang. <laughs> Just ruins. There's cars down there. Oh, oh wow. I wonder why. Dude, maybe people live there. Uh, yeah, I think there's somebody who lives there. It looks like somebody's house. Yeah. That car is abandoned, but yeah, that, that other one isn't. Oh, this is ruins of another house too, I think. Wow. Take a $400 car. Look at all the... Did you see all the bandanas on that hill? It's funny they have speed bumps here, but you can barely even drive with all the trash. I mean, these are all streets, man. These are all streets, probably with houses. I don't even know. It's like, should I drive down there? Look at the little loop. Oh, geez. Yeah, this street and that street. Should I go down there? Yeah. yeah.
Yeah, so we're like on the border. So like right there begins a new town and right there begins a new town. Um, but this is, look at this. There's bullet holes in the stop sign. It's crazy. Yeah, it's nice over there. There's bullet holes in that one too, and that one. Somebody used them as target practice. At least it wasn't people. A couple more houses down here. And you can actually see chimneys in the woods here from an old foundation. A lot of these houses I can't even see because they're so like deep overgrown into the woods. Um, it's, cr it's crazy. A couple people speeding down here. There's another house right there. Oh my gosh, look at the bullet holes on this one. Shredded cheese. Whoa, that one's gonna be a good one to take video of. Yeah, we'll go back. It's so overgrown. Well, there's there's some abandoned houses. Looks like a small house. Jeez. It's hard to get through here. Dude, that oh, one's cool. Wow, look at that one. Barbie house. This is so sad, man. Some of these houses are beautiful. Ooh, sketchy van. Oh, someone might be living around here, huh? Dead end. Yeah. What the heck is that? Oh, I'm turning around. Did someone dump that? Secret little underground rooms back there, but beyond this is just a mound of trash. Mounds and mounds of trash. Maybe this, maybe this was like a their old dump, but look at this. Literally mounds of trash. They had to put bricks up to keep the trash from flowing into the street. I don't know, man. Was this maybe an abandoned actual like garbage site? I don't know. But uh, that's certainly a lot of garbage. That truck's coming back again. Mm -hmm. It's giving Gary vibes. These entire streets here are blocked off. No use getting back there. Mm -hmm. So you can see right here, the um, they've built all these warehouses. Um, they're slowly expanding into the town of Kinlock. Um, but yeah, there's still a couple people left. Only time will tell what will happen. Whoa. Whoa, car flipped on its side. Oh. It's on a... That's cool. Hmm. Good thumbnail right there, maybe. But yeah, I'd say that's the town of Kinlock for you. Glad I got to interview that guy. I mean, he would he was the perfect guy to talk to, right? Yeah. But yeah, this may very well turn into the town of Kinlock right here. Oh yeah, we want to check out that school, I forgot. So here's one of the neighborhoods that, it's kind of fallen apart, but still got quite a few residents. One of the more closer houses, but you know, a lot of these are still abandoned and going more abandoned as the years go by. Another street, completely gone. The town of Kinlock didn't have to become this, but the rampant corruption in all forms of government created the situation we have today. There is no saving Kinlock anymore. For the remaining residents, I encourage anybody living nearby to clean up the site and help them live out the rest of their lives. I hope I was able to shed some light on the true extent of government waste in America. Thanks for watching.